Hey, this is Miko with the Permit Empire. I want to thank you guys so much for taking your time out to tune in. I'm just dropping a quick video regarding notice of commencements. So today I'm recording a certified notice of commencement at the courthouse here in Palm Beach County in Florida. So the reason that the notice of commencements are required, they're required here in the state of Florida, but in, in a few other states, I know they're required, I think in Georgia too, um, in a couple other states, they're required for any project that exceeds $2,500 in value. Now that notice of commencement is required for a couple different reasons. Of course, that is how your county evaluates your property each year. They're looking at what all improvements have been done and this is a way for them to keep track of what improvements have been done. This is also a way that you're, you have a little protection when it comes to the construction that's going on. And when I say you, I mean you as the homeowner, you as the property owner have a, a little bit of a layer of protection because it limits the amount of time your contractor has to file a lien against you. Usually it does not go past one year from the date of commencement of that project. So in any case, if something happened and the contractor comes back and he says two years down the road, hey, I did work for you, remember, and you owe me some money. And you say, no, that's not what happened. It really does not matter at that point. He can't file a lien against your property. And not that it doesn't matter, but it matters in him being able or being having rights to file a lien against your property. He can't. It's over with at that point. It's over one year past the notice of commencement date. Now, on the other end, it does give a little protection to the contractor in the way that as long as, as long as he files, as long as he, com he, he issues his, his complaint basically within that one year span, he still does have a leg to stand on when it comes to him making sure that he is paid for the services that he provided. Because it goes both ways. A lot of times we talk about where the homeowner has been done wrong by the contractor. She's been stiffed, she, he took her money and he ran. Well, in some cases, it's the homeowner who gets the services done and for whatever reason, they do not pay final balances. So it gives that contractor a layer of protection where he can say, hey, I've done these services. It's documented that me and you are in a contract based off this notice of commencement. So I've done these services and now I'm, I'm due my final payment. So it gives everybody involved a little layer of protection. And also, even when the inspector comes out to do any inspections that are associated with the permit, they're going to be looking to make sure you have that notice of commencement on file. Because in a lot of cases, especially in Florida, it's a requirement to have the permit. Sometimes for them to even issue a, you a permit, they want to see that notice of commencement first. So, like I said, I've already gotten everything taken care of. Usually I do notice of commencements online takes a couple minutes and I literally mean a couple minutes it doesn't take much of your time but in this case the city where I'll be submitting this notice of commencement to they require a certified copy and in order to get that certified copy I have to come in person to the courthouse and have it recorded no big deal um, it is just what it is now I actually charge the same whether I'm doing it online or if I come in in person I charge that as an additional fee above and beyond my permit running services. That notice of commencement also has to be notarized. So if I need to go and have that notarized, if I need to sit with the, the client to have it notarized, then I can also charge for the notary service as well. So just something to keep in mind when you're thinking about maybe what services you can add to your business. If you don't necessarily want to get into doing permit running, you could also look into filing notice of commencements. It's a pretty easy thing to get into you just have to link up with a service provider who allows that online service and you can start also offering that as part of the services that you offer already good side gig to get into especially when you're affiliated or associating it with permit running because you know in a lot of cases the notice of commencement is needed to go with the permit so just dropping that little bit for you guys today hopefully it was a little helpful hopefully you got some insight hopefully you got some value if you did again hit the like button subscribe i'll be dropping another video soon i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here um and i hope to talk to you guys again soon